Welcome to week one of my experience in the Little Legends League, the first ever draft league for the Ubers UU format. If you want a more in-depth look at my entire team, check out my introduction video. For my first week of draft play, I was matched up against the Salty Stackers, coached by Steel016. Steel has a lot of big threats to my team, so I chose to build this team in a more defensive style first. My first choice for the team was specially defensive Magirna. Magirna can check Palkia Origin with Fuller Cannon, use Encore to disrupt setup, Volt Switch to pivot to one of my threats, and set spikes for chip damage. Seal's only form of hazard removal is Mousehold, which struggles to accomplish much offensively versus Magirna and Giratina, so I thought Spikes to be pretty good in this matchup. Overall, this is a very standard Uber's UU Magirna, but the set is standard for a reason. My next spring was Slow King. I know Steel's team had the Glow King Glaster Core, where Glow King uses Chili Reception to safely bring in Glaster and boost its defense. Glaster's Ice Stab and Enormous Attack meant that Giratina wasn't going to be able to consistently check it, whereas Slow King's Water Typing and Good Bulk could. I decided to run a double dance set that slow so that Slow King's 1v1 Glaster or Palkia Origin with the goal of trying to become invincible and sweep with Stored Power. I was comfortable using Stored Power as my only attack here since Steel's only Dark type is Sableye. Which I didn't expect to be brought. Up next is the final member of my defensive trio, Giratina. Giratina can 1v1 and defeat almost all of the physical attackers on Steel's team with Will O Wisp, Hex, and Roar. It also shuts down Mousehold, which would be very scary after he uses Tidy Up. The main threat I identified at this point was Sarah Ledge, which could super effectively threaten my entire defensive core. My solution to this was to run Itemless Giratina. Sarah Ledge's main Ghost Stab option is Poltergeist, which fails if the target doesn't have an item. With my defensive counterplay in place, it was time to consider my offensive game plan. To start on the offensive side of my team, I brought Mian Xiao, but this was no normal Mian Xiao. The plan with this set was to get intimidated by Landorus, which would activate my Adrenaline Orb and raise my speed. To counteract the attack drop from Intimidate, I ran Inner Focus. If I could lure in Landorus while using Sword Stance, I could potentially sweep since Miensha has the right coverage to hit everything on Steel's team. Next up is Dragon Dance Necrozma, which also fills the physical sweeper rule, except it doesn't rely on external conditions to get set up. I chose to run Fire as my terror type because of the excellent offensive synergy between Fire and Psychic. After a Dragon Dance, Necrozma outspeeds everything and can do massive damage with Photon Geyser, Terra Blast, and Earthquake. I ran a Lumber in case of Thunder Wave or Toxic Spikes from Glow King. Finally, I ran a Choice Star Thunderous to provide some speed control. Thunderbolt provides stab and hits hard neutrally, Dark Pulse hits Landorus and Glow King, Grass Knot hits Terra Water Glaster, and U Turn gives me a pivot option that Landorus can't block. Nothing fancy with this set, just some fast and decently strong attacking options. And with that, I have my complete team for week one. Let's get into the replay of the battle and see how I did. Alright, so getting into the fight here, Steel brought pretty much what I expected. He's got the mouse hold for removal. Landris, Palkia, Tinkdown I didn't quite prepare for, but I can tell it's got a utility, and he's also got the Glow King Glaster Core. So let's start the replay. I leave the Magirna here to get up Spikes immediately, because I know Spikes are going to be strong against most of his team, and he has a similar idea with Tinkdown here, immediately getting up those rocks, and then uh, just to make sure those Spikes display correctly, we're just going to do a little switch. As he just starts getting damage on my Magirna, he also gets a good Encore here, so I'm forced to use Spikes again even though I've already set up all of them. So I go out to Giratina, I figure it doesn't really mind the knockoff because I have no item, and doesn't mind Gigaton Tamer either. So I can get a Wispin and basically get rid of this Tinkaton's main attacking options. So he Encores me into Wisp, which is a good play, as Giratina is now kind of sitting on half health and I'm in an awkward spot here, but I get a switch out. And he has Landorus against my Magirna, so obviously I can't do that. So I do have to go to Thunderous there and take some rocks, and he reveals Nasty Plot Landorus, which I did not expect. Um, I do have to beat him, which is this Choice Scarf, get a Lucky Flinch with Dark Pulse, and then he one-shots me with Sludge Wave after the rocks. Although Landorus at this point is pretty low, I know it's not that fast, so I can outspeed him with uh, my Mian Xiao. He brings in Tinkaton, takes a lot from Spikes, and takes the knockoff really well. I go for Close Combat here, thinking it'll probably kill, but it just misses. Fortunately for me, he just goes for the knockoff, which gets rid of my Adrenaline Orb, and that plan didn't look like it was going to pan out anyway. So next, the Mouse Hold comes out, and I figure it's going to tidy up, but there's nothing to do about that, since he can't block tidy up. It does just that, but at least gets rid of the rocks on my side, which is pretty alright for me. Landris comes back out as I just go for a Wisp, which unfortunately misses, which would have been nice for the chip. 
However, this thing is still killing itself with its life orb, and I go ahead and rest up here, just to stay healthy for the physical threats. He sends out Palkia now, and as he does that, I go to my own Bien Shao. Doesn't match up well, so I go to my Magirna, who is built for this situation pretty much. And here's where things get a little dicey, because this Palkia has Substitute and Pressure, meaning that I only get floor, four floor cannons against it. Uh, we trade misses there, which is funny. He gets another Hydro Pump mist, which is pretty unfortunate. I get one more floor cannon in, which does just enough to break him down below sub health, and barely lift the Hydro Pump. So Magirna is basically dead, but it's done its job, and I go ahead and just pivot out here. And at this point, it's Necrozma time. Sets up Future Sight, which I don't mind at all, because Necrozma is a Psychic type for now. And there's that Lumberry coming in play, which is Thunder Wave. I go for an Earthquake, just to see how bulky he is, which... He has some physical bulk to lift that. And then he goes out into Glass Spear. And on this turn, we both Terra. He goes Water, I go Fire. So he resists, him, he resists my Terra Blast. However, the Icicle Crash is not doing enough damage either. Whereas Photon Geyser is going to do almost half. And here's that Prism Armor coming in handy, barely living to Stomping Tantrum, and Photon Geyser takes out the Glaster. So at this point, I have to beat everything, I also one-shot everything. Mousetool comes out, gets one shot, then Landris comes out, it's also just gonna die. And then finally, the Glow King will come out, and it's also dead. And so with that, I have the 5-0 win. Necrozma getting the sweep that I was looking for, and really a great week one showing for me. I was pretty happy with this. If you're watching still, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing to see more of this weekly content, and I'll see you in week two.